Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, Vladimir Putin has uh, weighed in on this <clears throat> North Korea, United States, Japan, South Korea, China, everybody involved in this Kim Jong Un uh, escapades. And Putin today warns that North Korea's situation is on the verge of a large scale conflict. Uh, here's his words. According to reports out of Moscow at the CrusaderJournal.com, Bart Begley has a great article here. Russian President Vladimir Putin warned today that the tense standoff between North Korea and the United States was on the verge of a large scale conflict and said it was a mistake to try to pressure North Korea over its nuclear missile program. Vladimir Putin, Russian's president, who, do, who is due to attend a summit of the BRICS nations, you might remember that new financial, uh, trying to build a new currency, I think, the BRICS nations, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These nations are having a, a summit in China next week. They wrote in an article published on the Kremlin's website ahead of his trip that he favored negotiations with North Korea instead. It is essential to resolve the region's problems through direct dialogue involving all sides without advancing any preconditions for such talks, Putin wrote. Provocations, pressure, offensive rhetoric is the road to nowhere. The situation on the Korean peninsula has deteriorated so much that it was now balanced on the verge of a large-scale conflict, said the Russian leader. North Korea has been working to develop a nuclear-tipped missile capable of hitting the United States and has recently threatened to land missiles near the U.S. Pacific Territory of Guam. Matter of fact, they just fired an intercontinental ballistic missile Middle mid range, but it went 1677 miles and they fired it right over Japan. So it is, I mean, we're it, what? So it's a little more intense than that. Matter of fact, Monday, North Korea, which sees its joint war games between the United States and South Korea as preparations for an invasion, raised the stakes in the standoff with the United States by firing that intermediate intercontinental ballistic uh, range missile over Japan. Matter of fact, in Russia's opinion, the calculation that it is possible to halt North Korea's nuclear missile programs exclusively by putting pressure on North Korea in erroneous, it's erroneous. It's not going to work. So Putin's basically saying to the United States, you guys need to back down with the rhetoric. North Korea is not going to stop their nuclear program. They're going to do it. And actually, China is going to see to it that they do. And so uh, there must be a different way to resolve this. Well, the problem is, guys, there's reports yesterday that uh, uh, Kim Jong-un is telling his soldiers, he's telling his military personnel, go ahead and steal corn from the neighbors or out in the farmer's. Steal what you need to do to eat and prepare yourself for war because it's inevitable. Now, I did get reports yesterday from very reliable sources that North Korea, a war is coming with North Korea. Matter of fact, L.A. Marzulli was told that by, by that little visitor he got from one of the alphabet agencies of the government, that there will be a war with North Korea. It is the next war. But we're hearing is that war won't start till after this winter's Olympic Games, the 2018 Seoul South Korea Olympic Games. Got to get those done first. It's a big cash cow for South Korea and builds their reputation and standing in the world. Um, then, if you're going to deal with North Korea, deal with them after the Olympic Games. So in the meantime, the United States continues to build up its presence in the region. The Russians are building up along the border of North Korea as well. So are the Chinese and everybody's getting and, and, and Kim Jong-un who can see all this military movement feels the pressure 
and now he's going to be he's going to lose a, a billion dollars in trade. Uh, he's feeling more of the pressure, and so Trump is trying to hold this big hammer over his head, yet offer him some kind of an olive branch if he's willing to come to the table. But the hammer's here, and the hammer's coming down, and the hammer is going to be strong. Fire and fury, the likes the world has never seen. Folks, I'm afraid. Come April or May of next year, 2018, we may see a major war in, the, in South Asia, which is what Trump told you. He said, I'm going to war against the Taliban in the Afghanistan and South Asia. He told you that in that announcement on the day of the solar eclipse. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Hurricane Harvey has hit Houston and Hurricane Irma is on the way. And we're in the middle of this 40 days of repentance. The sign and the warning of God is, is right now upon us. Are you ready to meet the Lord? I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're living in the last days. Don't miss today's live broadcast, 12 noon Eastern. That's 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.